in the last couple of years, it seems like this this whole discussion has been kind of ramped up, right? Um, the level has gone up, and it seems pretty clear that two two kind of I don't know how I'd be careful with my language here, but two kind of camps have formed, you know, uh, within and I'm talking within Christian circles. Uh, dealing with um, race relations, eth- uh, ethnic unity, those types of things. Um, so you, you've got you've got one group who's saying to the other group, "You're a bunch of racists. You don't care about anything." Um, then you've got the other group responding and saying, "You're a bunch of Marxists, right? A bunch of all you believe in the social gospel. I mean, those kinds of things." Obviously, you are trying to <laughs> you're trying to kind of trying to. Uh, you know, walk a middle path there because we believe that the Bible is more in the middle. Um, mm-hmm. So, how do you respond, brother, to criticism from both sides? Because that's that's essentially what you're setting yourself up for, right? You're you're not really mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're not really pleasing either side. So, how how do you mm-hmm. res- how do you respond to that? And maybe how would you encourage others to respond to it as well who are trying to do the same? Right. So, I think that. Like I said, you have this, you have extremes on both sides. And what my, my prayer and, and, and my hope is that there's actually a, a large group of people who are in the middle. Right? Yeah. But, um, and, and I, I like to call it the third way, right? So you have right. kind of the, you know, I, I, I mentioned, um, you know, when it comes to race slash ethnicity, you know, you have two extremes. So one one extreme would be uh, apathy, which say, why are we even talking about this? We this, this isn't even we don't we don't even need to discuss this at all. It's not an issue. Right. Then on the other extreme, you have idolatry, right? Which which makes ethnicity ultimate. Mm. Um, but then there's what I like to call the third way, which is the way of the Bible and the <laughs> yeah. way of the the gospel, right. which says that ethnicity is actually it's actually very important for God's purposes in, in displaying the glory of Christ in the gospel. Amen. Uh, but at the same time, it's not ultimate. Our mm-hmm. ultimate identity is in Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, so kind of holding those two things. And, and, and I've, I, I, I have to believe that there's a group of people, a large group of people <laughs> who are in the middle who hear that <laughs> and say, amen. Yeah. Amen. That's where I am. Because mm-hmm. when I look over here, I say, okay, you guys, I don't, I don't think you're being faithful with, with how you're using the scriptures mm-hmm. on this hand, on the other hand, it's like, you guys, I don't like your tone. <laughs> There's nothing loving about right. that. Tone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, even, even if I agree with you, like the way you just said that was just so ungodly. Right. right. Um, and so, so, so my, you know, I understand that there's going to be critique from kind of both extremes. Mm. Um, and, and that's fine. Um, but, but my, my hope and, and prayer is that there's, there's actually a large group who are in the middle and, and part of the reason why they uh, they don't they're not as loud as the other two extremes is because they're more moderate voices, <laughs> right? right. They're more they're more ca- they're more cautious in what they say and what they don't say. Uh, yeah. And and I'm I'm really hoping that this book will um, will reach that group of people. Amen. 